Jenny and welcome back to another video. I know that I am very late on the hype for these jelly paints. I've been wanting them for about a year but I wasn't able to easily get them in New Zealand until I suddenly found them. Of course I was really excited about them and I bought them right away and they came within like a day or so so that was really great and I was really excited to get into them. up organizing them in a way that made sense to me so I'm sorry if that bothers you that I've changed the order but this is how I liked them. already had scenes in my head. I knew I wanted to paint and one of my favorite things to paint at the moment are twilight scenes. Yeah I know, let's not even get started on why. So if you know twilight you'll know what scene this is from or if you just like the ocean maybe you'll just enjoy this. I put a light wash down first. Now I have to say that I really am a beginner when it comes to painting. The only paint I am semi familiar with is using watercolor. So ignore the ignorance of my paintings and I'm sure I'll get better in time. I was familiarizing myself with the feel of the paints as you can see at the start here. I eventually got it to work how I wanted and I kind of liked how it was going. say in basically every video I do this is definitely a trust the process piece and it looks pretty ugly until it suddenly doesn't look ugly. This was one of the first times for me properly painting water. I had a lovely friend of mine who's an amazing painter give me a ton of amazing tips and that really helped me with it.
I decided, as usual, that this piece needed a couple of subtle little shinies from my trusty white gel pen. I normally gently run my finger across the gel pen before it's completely dry and it softens it a little bit to make it so it doesn't look like cartoony. But when I first sketched it, I wanted to do a scene from Pokemon Snap, Bulbasaur in some cute green scenery, but dang twilight scenery wouldn't leave my head so I ended up doing this instead. Bulbasaur can be done another day. So even as I was adding the first wash layer, I knew I should have erased the Bulbasaur sketch, and then he was just fermented there, as you can see me desperately trying to cover him up. <laughs> like this is a twilight scene now buddy, you've gotta go. Bulbasaur doesn't belong in the twilight world, you have to go. But he didn't want to go and I ended up having to cover him with so many layers. Even now he is still peeking in there a little bit, little ghost Bulbasaur that likes the meadow scene. So take my advice and make sure to erase the critters that you don't want. And something I already knew to lighten your sketch before adding a wash on. Rookie mistake, Jennifer. My overall thoughts with these paints are I actually love them. I was pretty skeptical because I am so so picky with what paints that I use but these are great they're really nice quality they're really smooth they have a really nice opaqueness but you can also water them down to your liking and they're just so flexible. To be fair I haven't used any other gouache paints I've used acrylic and watercolor and these are by far going to be one of my favorite paint scents to use and I will be using them a lot I think. And they were so cheap as well, like I'm pretty sure they were 25 New Zealand dollars which is a pretty amazing price actually. I actually really like how both came out and I'm suddenly really loving painting, well these paints anyways, acrylic and I are trying our best but we have a few differences that we need sorting out, I need to practice, I love acrylic but I'm not great at it. I had my music on too loud and I didn't hear my camera shut off so here you miss me struggling with the grass texture for about 10 minutes. I hope you like the longer video, I really enjoy longer videos so I'd like to make mine longer ones. I really hope you enjoyed this video, thank you again to my Patreons and I will see you guys in the next one.